Hello everyone, my name is Zombieboy326 and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is episode 2 in the uh, new series. If you don't know what happened in last episode, last episode we went to Concord, uh, we killed raiders, we got ourselves power armor and we even saved some people along the road. In this episode, we're going to be helping out, look, we're going to be helping some, oh I failed that. We're going to be helping more of those people out. We're going to be just helping them out, see what they need, and, you know, all that stuff. So. Let's wait. So, whilst we're waiting for these people to get to come, o uh, come over here, let's start scrapping. Because we're going to be building today, and it's really important that we have a, a lot of room we, we don't need too much room though because sanctuary gives you a lot of room already but i feel like it's better to have a, a good chunk of room still plus we're going to need the resources eventually eventually so yeah right boop 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 So in a last episode, I didn't go over what this is. This is a cooking station, basically. I can cook some food here. Now I actually have some um, a blood fly, a blood fly meat. So I'm gonna craft some of that. Basically, cooking serves really no purpose other than no. Actually, no. It does serve a purpose. Uh, cooking basically allows you to make food, and when you cook food, instead of like you know eating it raw, if you cook it. You won't actually get any forms of radiation poisoning. So that is really good. Right. Two bot. Um. I think the first sort of business I'm gonna get rid of all the radios. It's not like it's not like I want to get rid of the radios, but like well I kinda of have no choice mainly because of uh the radios still play music and I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm afraid we won't have any forms of music. But you know what? That's okay. Because we got the proper Fallout 4 music and we don't really need copyright uh, written music. I'll, I'll leave that. I'll leave that section there. Let's see what's that. No. Let's get rid of the paintings. Alright, so we've been scrapping for a bit now. Let's see if Preston's here. Uh, is he? No, oh, he's about to come. I think he's just. A, I think he's over that uh, bridge. He's reading five people is here. So let's see. Is this Preston? It is. It's Preston's group. Alright, so let's chat with Preston. That means this right here must be the old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. <laughs> yeah. 
I, f I forgot he actually did that where Preston actually talked about the history a bit of Sanctuary. So apparently in the law, Sanctuary actually was probably some was in some form of war like it was uh, how can I put it sanctuary was in some form of war at some point in time uh, of course it must have taken place after you know the war I think we could settle down here make it a place to call home okay what do you think go mama Murphy strange being back uh I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here... Over yep. 200 years ago. I was... Frozen or something. For most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. Hmm. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had work And here we go. Preston starts help. being needy. There's still hope in there, Miniman out there. Somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is got my hands full here do you think you could go help out with the settlement well some pl most places will go with no but since this is the first time play for I'm gonna go with yes because I want to explore a lot of the wasteland I'd so yeah That's fantastic the Miniman could use more people like you by the way I've got achievement for that help out around here at all? Talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get all right so yeah, we'll be actually helping this settlement for this episode. We're going to be helping out Sturgis. Because I do remember Sturgis' quest is pretty It's pretty straightforward. It's just to introduce to you the uh, your workshop mechanics. Let me just get rid of this wood. You willing to do some work? Yep. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use uh -huh. just make sure we can sleep with a roof over. There's a workbench. So basically, mm -hmm. he's gonna walk you through the needs thing. So if you look on the top, you've got like this um, a bunch of things up here. So each bar is a correlation. So people is basically how many people there are in your settlement. I think the max is ten, but I could be wrong. Uh, food it indicates how much food is in the settlement. Water is how much water is in the settlement. Power is basically power power in the settlement. Defenses is pretty much your defenses. Defenses is actually kind of important because uh, defenses indicate how high your chances are to survive a raid attack because because there will be raids coming to your settlement. It, raids normally start I think around about if you have over five people uh, at or over five people so I think the settlement will be attacked here and there uh, beds is pretty much indicating how many beds there and happiness is basically how the um, what you call it um, sorry I had to do something back there that um, let me think. What was I talking about again? Um, ah, yes. Uh, beds. The happiness meter indicates how happy your settlers are. Um, right now it's at 20, which means they're going to do half. At pretty much going to. They're not going to do anything. Well, they are, but they're going to do a really cr uh, crap job of it. If it's uh, at 50, they're going to do a model letter. Just pretty much a good job of it. So if it's below 50, they're gonna do a bad. They're gonna just not do that much, and sometimes even just not do their job at all. Uh, but if it's at 50, they will help out. 
Of course, a happiness meter. Like, people think, oh, it's going to be so hard to maintain it, but it really isn't. It's really easy. Now, I could, since I do have the vault tech uh, workshop DLC, I can make a bed and I can make it really cheap. But I want to use the beds in the, the vault. So we're going to stick with the stock Fallout beds. So there's five players. Not five players, there are five people right now. So we're going to just plop some beds down in this house. June. You hanging in there? Oh, well, I guess so. Every day I get up and tell myself, I just have to get through today. Well, you've been through a rough time now. And there we go. Got five beds. Just, uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Oh, okay. All right. So now let's go talk uh, to Sturgis like again. I know I Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. And what we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Okay. On it. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Great. Thanks again. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. So, yeah. Uh, don't mention it. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months... Look at dog meat in the background. <laughs> my son. Gone. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? Hmm. We have to go on. For them. True. Now, of course, in Fallout, I, I can make my character as a douchebag or as like the really nicest person in the entire wasteland if I want to. For Shepard, I'm gonna keep him modularly in the middle. You know, he's a nice guy, but he's not afraid to get tough if he needs to get tough type situation. Um So basically we're gonna go in our power tabs. Now power is pretty important. So yeah, normally uh, if we go to resources and we go to do the water, players will see the water pump and they'll be like, oh, I should go with that. But I recommend you should get this thing first. You have the materials, so just spend it. You'll, don't worry, you'll, you can be able to make it back. In fact, I'm going to make two of these. All right. So now, we've got two of those, we're going to go to power, generators, and we're going to need, then how much does it take for, two, two, alright, so these two are really good, so we're going to get a medium generator, and then if we're going to, then if we press spacebar on this thing, we can actually connect the wires to these water pumps. So the reason why I bought two of these is because um, these things are really good for making caps. I'm not even lying. Uh, if you have more water than you do for settlers, what, what will happen is the water will actually go into your workshop as purified water bottles, which then you can take them out and you can go sell them. Because purified water bottles, they sell quite well. Uh, they don't sell as... They don't sell, I think... Purified water is a bit less expensive than a stim pack. So it's not expensive. It's not expensive as a stim pack, but it is good. And, you know, people set up like um, water generators all over Sanctuary because Sanctuary is on a, like a little secure island and it's really good. Alright, so now we've got uh, the water and power. Let's look for Sturgis. Here he is. Hey Sturgis. Come up, wakey wakey, sleepy head. He's like, oh god, I can't, I can't. Just, it's late, man. Do you know what time it is? Already. No, we have a reliable supply of clean water. 
I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. Uh, if we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good now, deal. the cool thing about Sanctuary is that there's already crops planted here. So you don't even need to worry much about anything. But first thing though... The, um, the generators over there. I want to uh, connect the these houses with the generators. And that's pretty easy because we can go to our conducts and switch switches and we can go get these now. I'm going to use the switch power pylon for this. I don't know why, I just feel like, you know, if the, if I need electricity over here, I can just uh, switch it on and off if I need to. So now, we're going to set up some pylons. And then we're going to connect the pile this to here and hopefully that will be long enough. So let's see. Perfect. Perfect. I got this in the bag. Okay, look at that. So now if we head into this building, hopefully we've got power. Let's see. Hmm, no we don't have power. Not yet. Oh wait, I think there's a light bulb in these. No, right. So this will probably be uh, on if there was power. Oh no, wait. It isn't on because there's no light. But, right, so if we put a light right here, there's no power. Hmm. Right. I know how to fix this. Let's go to... Go get some pylons. And I think this little gap is just wide enough to link it to the outside pylon. I will need to move stuff around though. So let's move you. Let me just break that down. There we go. Oh. Maybe a bit over here. It says I can link it up, but I think the game's been a bit awkward. Alright. Alright, so what we're going to do is instead, I'm just going to move this over here. Let's remove the tree. This, I, what I'm doing is kind of pointless. You don't need to do this, but eventually, power is going to be quite important if you want to do certain stuff in Sanctuary. Like, it's not pawn, I'm just doing it as a way to show everyone that, um, you know, uh, you can actually do certain things, like power and whatnot, and set it all up. So. Let's see. Now, if we got that, hopefully, we've got power. There we go. Let's just move this light bulb. Uh, we'll put it here. That looks nice. And why don't we make it look like... Um, yeah, why don't we add this? Over our power armor. Give it some light. There we go. Oh, I used to put. Yeah, uh, just a tip. Copper is used for the wires, so keep that in mind. So, yeah. Back. So, yeah. To do food, uh, back here, you've, we've already got crops, and Seems when well. you send the. Um, when you do uh, get the, what do you call it, those people over here, uh, one of them will actually Im immediately start tending to the crops. Um, so that's good. So you don't really need to do much. 
Now, when it comes to crops, though, um, the reason why it's uh, why it's a food on one is because the melons. If we go over to them really quickly, um, they only give you zero point five. Right now we have two, so we can plant two, so that will, that will give us up to two. There we go. Uh, but we're going to be struggling on food. Now, the Minuteman could use someone like me. there's a nice little area where you can get more food. If you head behind here, behind this house, there'll be a cellar. We won't go into the cellar yet, but... We got some wild nut fruit, and nut fruit's really good. So definitely, so definitely take that. Okay, I can't take you. I do believe as well that are some food, literally over the bridge, so we can grab that as well. So, let's go get the muck fruit. Potatoes. Muck fruit. Oh, wait, is this wild mu muck fruit I, I just picked up? Um, let's see. Peel aid. Wild. Oh, it's wild. Okay. I don't think I'm, I can actually plant wild muck fruit. No, I can't. Okay. So that's a problem. Don't worry, though. We can easily solve this. So we're going to uh, head over to the Red Rocket truck stop. Well, because of, we should be able to still find some food nearby. If we don't have enough food, uh, there's a nice little area, uh, settlement uh, over here. Now, that settlement is kind of a late game thing. I think you have to get that settlement um, when you're, I would say, I'm trying to think. That's wild. That's all wild. Right. But um, yeah, I think you have to actually go to that settlement uh, when you you know when you do a certain amount of quests for the or oh, Preston but but uh, they don't mind if you take their crops which is good so let's head over let's head over there as you can tell if you see that farm farm with the farm tractor that's what I'm talking about. Well, and it's not that farm, neither. I think it's that, um, that thing over there. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, as you can see, they've got some Brahmin. Um, which is good for making fertilizer. Um, but the main important food is here. Well, I'll take this muck fruit, and they're not going to attack us, because, for some reason, this isn't classed as stealing. So that's good, you know. And to be honest, I don't think they, the developers of Activision would update the game to patch this problem, neither. I th mainly because of now they're working on Fallout 76. Alright, so we got all the muck fruit. Why don't we head back to the uh, to Sanctuary? Meh. There we go. So yeah, um, all day yesterday, I've I've been wanting to play more of Fallout 4, but sadly I couldn't because I've I've been editing uh, videos of Fallout 4 episode for of the Fallout 4 episodes, and I'm realizing that I said Fallout uh, 4 episode 2 at the start of the video. I meant to say the uh, episode 2 uh, part. Episode 2. Uh, episode one's more of like a part thing. Anyways. Let's head back over here. Ooh. Our melons have grown. Too late though. We've got 
a bunch of potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, these two are just different variants. It doesn't matter which one you choose. But yeah, just I'm just gonna plant them all over. Sorry, right, I'll get EXP. And I got an achievement called Born Survivor. So that's good. There we go. I think we have... Just when yep, you think you're safe. we solved our pro food problem. Hey Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. Mm -hmm. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. Yep. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. So, now we're going to be the building defenses. Sanctuary is a really good and secure place. Raiders will either attack from over here or over here at the bridge. They will attack anywhere else on the island. Which means all you need to do is just pray to. Uh, just uh, focus on the bridge and around there. So there's different types of methods of defending your base. You've got guard posts. Uh, guard posts are pretty much um, play. Uh, guard posts are basically used for your settlers uh, to defend the area. They go they're going to be the most efficient and are going to be less resource uh, resource. Uh, c Basically, it won't use much resources, neither. But the problem with the guard posts is that you're going to be using a settler. And, you know, if you have too many settlers, that's, that's fine. But you can't have so many. Turrets are basically like settlers. Uh, they're pretty much like sets as a guard post settlers. Other than they don't really require to be topped up with ammunition. And they sort of just look out for themselves. Now, right now... I think we can be able to make three. So what I'm going to do is replace one there. Oh no, I can't. But yeah, these things will take five defense, so that's really good. So we've already completed that quest. Um, I think that's the last quest. Yeah, it's the last quest we have to do. So let's go over to... Where is he? Him. Where is him? Where, where are you? Now let me just check. Map, data, first step, sanctuary. There we go. Should be over here. There you are. So let's go over here. Sturgis. Hey Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Oh. Feels good. <laughs> I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. <laughs> I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Alright. So I've done the quest and I've unlocked another achievement called Sanctuary. So yeah, I'm going to end it off for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be going, helping Preston, well, we're going to be helping people, uh, we're going to be basically have, helping some settlers that Preston's asked ask for us to do. So that's going to be in the next episode. Uh, let me just store some items, though. There we go. So, yeah, next episode, we're going to help some settlers, and we're, we're, we're even going to move over to the Red Rocket truck stop. I could set up a base in Sanctuary, but... I think the Red Rocket uh, truck stop fits, you know, the character uh, persona of Shepard at this point. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zombieboy326 and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.